are so annoying. That was close. We are on, I would say weekend three, but it's the middle of the week. I have the day off today. So me and Chelsea and Theo are out here. We, this morning, dropped the girls off over at my mom and dad's. We dropped the dogs off over at Chelsea's mom's. So we could try to get as much done as we can, the two of us. Theo is sleeping, we just got here. So I'm gonna try to make this intro really quick so that we can get to work. Um, I didn't even have to wait for work to start happening. Chelsea went right to work. You said we have no time to waste. We don't have time to waste. That's why I told them I'm making this quick. So, getting to work real quick. Trying to get as much done as we can today. Then I'll be up here by myself tomorrow night. And hopefully this weekend we get the big chunk done so that we can move in next weekend with the house that is somewhat complete. Um, I don't know if I said, but the good news is the hole that I do not like at all. That scares me to look at because I'm not comfortable dealing with how to fix that problem. Uh, Chelsea's grandpa, who is the handyman of all handymans, who is very good at doing this kind of stuff, said that he would come in on the weekend that we're going to move, and he's just going to cut the drywall, make a big hole, and put up a new one so we don't have to worry about trying to mud it and sand it down, paint it, and do any of that stuff to it. It'll be a lot easier, but it was something that I didn't feel like I was going to be able to do perfectly, maybe. But I just didn't want to try to find the time to figure that out while still trying to do all the rest of the house that we need to do. So today's agenda is we're going to take out the shelving in both of the bathroom or both of the kids' rooms' closets. We're doing a few more than the same old. We're doing some sanding down, getting ready. Chelsea's going to paint both the two rooms. I'm going to be out here in the dining room. I'm going to sand, do one more big sand of all this start mudding it so that we can sand it one more time hopefully before we leave and that's the big plan so that tomorrow night maybe i can do another mud and sand to it or even try to start getting some painting done out here and we'll see what the rest of the plan is for the weekend i don't like to jump ahead anymore i realize when i try to jump ahead and plan what i think will be ready that that won't happen maybe so Best plan, I've done enough talking now. Here we go, back to work. Let's see what happens. All right, for these closets, it was really hard to unscrew them. So, I'm getting the saw, and I'm just gonna try to cut them out a little bit, make it a little bit easier, other than trying to do more of these screws, and I think it'll help me out, get it done quicker. One closet done. Closet number two. All right, both the closets are done. Time for some mudding and painting. One thing, my little rant about these closets is the where they placed these screws in the closets were very hard to get to, which made it even harder. I had to like knock some things loose that were nailed in. 
And also, before we even did any of it, I went to do this one of the days, and there was this problem. It's a square head, which never even heard of that before for a screwdriver. So I tried to use a flathead screwdriver, like kind of put it in there diagonally and try to twist it. I got one out that way, but I wasn't getting the other ones and I definitely didn't want to strip a square head screwdriver head because I didn't know what would ever work then. So I had to go purchase one for like $12, a brand new screwdriver, so I could get these square heads out. But it's done with. We'll just have to worry about our closet and the main bedroom, but that's for another day. Back to work. So one thing that we have realized with the mudding is that when I went through with the power sander after scraping off that popcorn ceiling, although it got off a lot of the kind of powder and dust that was still up like on the ceiling, it still didn't do as well as we have this, one of those long attached poles sanders and just kind of like manually doing it and scraping it, that the better we sand that all down, the easier it is to mud and less mudding that is necessary. So I'm gonna go through the living room right now, probably do the dining room after, and sand it down really, really good so that the mudding process won't be as bad when we go to do this room, since it is such a big room. We would like to not try to redo this three or four times through mudding. So I'm gonna go through, get it all sanded, Chelsea is getting prepared to officially fully paint our first complete room so that that room will be ready for the flooring, which will be coming in this weekend. And it is starting to come together. It's feeling more complete. Let's see. Powder everywhere. Yeah, it looks really powdery in here still. I'm gonna wash the last one. Chelsea talks quiet. She said she's gonna wash the walls and then wash the floors a little bit before we paint in there so that dust isn't flying all around on the new paint as we do it. So, once again, I feel like I'm saying this all the time, even on a day off, back to work. Chelsea's going like this behind the screen. 
because you got to mud it after you put the tape on. <laughs> she wants to make sure I don't forget that. So if you guys can see, she's doing it. Okay, and that's it. Theo. Alright. Just me, Chelsea, and Theo day was definitely a success. What would you think? Yes, we got a lot done. My hair looks crazy. Her hair looks crazy. I showered because I don't like staying like that. What are you saying? I'm dirty? Chelsea's dirty. She left it all just soaking up, and it's gonna be all over the car now. Um, but it was a very good time. Theo was the all-star today. He, we brought him in from the car ride when we got here. He napped for the first like two and a half hours. Chelsea came in, fed him, sat with him a little bit. He went right back to sleep for the last like three and a half hours. Now, unfortunately for him, he fed and gets to go in the car, so not a very exciting day for him, but Let's go home. it was a nice, where's my shoes? Not in here. Your oh. Thank you. So time to go home. I'll be back tomorrow night by myself. So we'll see if I can get all the money done in the living room or not. We're tired. We still have to do two trips to go pick up the kids, go pick up the dogs. This house is a mess. All right, um, it is Thursday. Wow, Thursday, we were here yesterday. Doesn't feel like it, but uh, I'm on call at the hospital, so I have to be within an hour. So I'm here by myself tonight. And the main goal, I'm not gonna try to bore you guys too much with too much video today, but just mudding the dining room. Hopefully get into the and uh, hopefully get into the kitchen. That's it, just a lot of money, so nothing exciting. So, I'm not gonna waste any time. I got about three hours and I'm exhausted. That's probably all that, all the work out of me for tonight, but we'll see. Last weekend of, not the last weekend of renovations, but our last weekend of renovations before moving in. How much will we get done? A lot. Are you excited to move in? Very excited. But unfortunately, we've had a few mishaps throughout the process. We are limping figuratively. Literally. No, figuratively. How do I say that? Figuratively. 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 Sure. We were doing that literally also limping. Yeah. I might have carpal tunnel from all the sanding and mudding. This happened. Bobby. Bailey. Oh my gosh. This happened while we were at the house Wednesday while Bailey was being watched. And this is just all we needed on our plate. But we are going to get there and move in, even if we all are wearing a cast by the end of this. <laughs> we are determined. So, a little bit of the same old painting, mudding, sanding, and then hopefully by Monday, we can start putting the flooring in, if not the end of Sunday night, and then the house will be coming together. I'm excited for the floor. The flooring has been delivered and is out in the driveway right now. That is another thing that has to come into the house. <laughs> But we have a lot of help today. The girls being watched by my mom, the dog being watched by Chelsea's brother, the other dog, the limpy we brought with us. And we have recruits. We have three helpers coming, so there should be about almost five, 
four of us at all times, but five of us doing some kind of work on the house today. So this is a big day. Get as much done as we can. And then pass out and wake up really early and do it again. Day three for the weekend. Chelsea stayed up to like three in the morning and finished painting the bedroom door closets that we had to get a special roller for and finishing the last coat on the walls in the living room. And now what I'm gonna do is take the tape off and then tape the ceiling down so I can do the two coats on the ceiling. Then it's time to put some floor in. All right, so uh, the big day, I got the first coat up on the ceiling. Now I'm in the first bedroom installing the vinyl plank flooring. Uh, I swept up really good, made a double check for any kind of staples on the nail, 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 staples or nails, staples or nails, staples or nails, staples or nails that are on the ground, got them out. So now I'm doing the flooring. I actually started the first row, which um, I'll show you guys a little bit what I did. Uh, real quick. So this kit came with uh, these spacers that I'm supposed to be putting on the edge to do like a quarter inch so that it has room for any kind of expansion or movement. Um, but because our moldings are here on the wall, there's actually a lot of room still underneath them. So the quarter inch is actually a little bit, far. we have even more room to play with because it goes all the way underneath it. So what we're gonna do is get a shoe molding, which will go a very small thin one, which will cover up those gaps underneath. If you're watching this as a how-to video, you're clicking the wrong video. Um, I've been trying to watch a few of those myself to work on this part, so don't do a, um, don't watch this for a how-to video, but watch this as a a beginner who is trying and watching other videos and that it can be done. So, here we go. The propane people came out to come see us during the middle of this process and also I have been struggling. Um, pieces have came out, chipped out of the box. I have chipped my own pieces, I've cut pieces wrong. So, there's been a learning curve, but I didn't want, I, my goal was that, oh, I'll show it at the floor do fast forward, you guys can kind of see it all coming together. But I think my battery would have died before I finished the first two rows. So, you can kind of see now. The floor is coming together, um, but you guys won't get the cool fast forward mode because it is still taking some time. Um, but maybe I can show a few pieces going in. All right. Oh. We are exhausted. No, the house isn't exactly how we thought it would be to move into, but we are moving in next weekend. And that means we can just work on the house while living at it instead of driving the hour and a half drive and trying to finish it all at once. But we got the one room done. So the girls will have at least a nice homey room to when we move into. I feel exhausted and beat. That's gonna be it for part three. You guys will get the before and after as soon as we can get everything the way that we want. 
So until then, some more renovations to be, and then you guys might get to see kind of the before and after full video. All right, thanks for tuning in again. You guys have a good one.